As your journey into the Python programming language progresses, you will start to hear about Python 2 and Python 3 and how certain scripts may be incompatible with one version or another. Every release of Python up until version 3 provided backwards compatibility with earlier versions. This all changed with Python 3. Python 3.0 is the first ever intentionally backwards incompatible Python release. The language is mostly the same, but many of the details, especially how built-in objects like dictionaries and strings work, have changed considerably, and many deprecated features have been removed. A deprecated feature is one that is no longer supported, but left in newer versions to allow developers time to update their code by removing said feature from use. Maya 2014, the most recent release at the time of this recording, uses Python 2.7.3. Maya 2011 through 2013 uses 2.6.4. For the foreseeable future, it is expected Maya will continue using Python 2 to avoid breaking many of the scripts already in use by studios and individuals alike. Despite many of the changes in Python 3, it is possible to write scripts that are compatible with both Python 2 and 3. Many of the major features in version 3 have been backported to Python 2.6 and 2.7. In this series, we will be writing code for Python 2.6 and 2.7, since these are the versions currently used by Maya. However, the code will be written to best maintain compatibility with Python 3. We will avoid using deprecated features, those that have been removed from version 3, and leveraging those features that have been backported. When there are multiple ways to perform an action in version 2, we will be using the one that is also supported in version 3. This is meant to help new users avoid confusion and to better grasp the concepts that will be relevant in future releases of Python. Now one quick example of this. On screen, I have two Python interpreters open, so Python 2.7.2, as well as Python 3.3.1. One of the bigger changes in Python 3 is the removal of the print statement. So in Python 2.7, I can write print hello world. And if I run this, it'll display hello world. If I try to run the same command in Python 3, I get an error. And this is an invalid syntax error. And this is because the print statement, this form, no longer exists in Python 3. In Python 3, you're now required to use the print function. And this simply means I have to enclose my string in this case, hello world, in open and close brackets. And I can now run this command, and it prints out hello world. If I go back to 2.7, I can write the exact same print function, print hello world, and it will still print hello world. So in the case of a print statement, we will always be writing it as a function. And it is a good habit to get into to always include your prints inside of these open and close braces. This way, when you do make the switch to Python 3 down the road, you will already be comfortable with the new syntax that's required. Python 2 isn't going away anytime soon. It's very deeply established in many of the industries around the world. The Python version 2.7 is the final 2.x release and it will see no major new upgrades. The future of Python is with version 3, and we will be structuring these lessons to best accommodate that.